If you're looking for a solution to facilitate communication inside of a workplace, Slack is actually one of the best apps around. My name is Yadullah, you're watching Candidor Technology and in this video we are talking about a new feature in Slack that you may have seen, Lists. Now Slack Lists are a very handy way of managing projects but keep in mind that the feature is still rolling out so you may or may not be able to see it on your channel. To check whether you have access to lists or not, just go ahead and click the plus icon right here which says create new and you should see uh, the list function right here. Go ahead and click on it and you will see an interface like this show up. Now uh, there are certain templates that Slack gives you. So there is a project tracker, there is a quarterly planning uh, list, uh, feedback, help requests, bug tracker. And these are all very different uh, type of lists. Uh, you also get a to-do list uh, that's pre-made for you. But we're going to go ahead and create a blank list. And let me just name it test list. All right. And now you can start adding items to the list. So um, task number one, you can have task number two, you can have task number three. And then you can just keep adding items from here. Uh, you can also go ahead and uh, shuffle these items. So I can move them around. And if I want to delete something, just select it and right click and uh, click the delete button. Once again, right click and delete button. Now lists can also tie into specific threads. So, uh, and you can add due dates and things like that for them. Okay, so uh, you can change the views as well. So right now I'm in the table view. You can go ahead and select the board view. And once you click create, uh, this list will be changed. And now you'll have different boards. So you can create groups. That's going to be uh, test task two group and click add. So this will be uh, another list group. Of course, you can go ahead and uh, edit them to give them different colors, different names and so on and so forth. Uh, so for this one, uh, we will go back to the table layout for now. All right, uh, so you can now uh, add people. So let's say if you're working with a specific person in a list, you can just include them here. You can set uh, due dates. So this would be, let's say, 13th July and then uh, you can have an option here so for example I can have my uh, test task to list that we just created embedded in here as well and then of course you can go ahead and add different fields so if I had to go and add in a new field and you get a bunch of options so check boxes uh, emails phone numbers you can specify channels you can give ratings have messages votes and then there's created time edited time so these fields get populated automatically so if i add a created by field click save uh, you can see that i have created these new sort of items uh, the same works so if i edit this field and change this to let's say all right you can't change that so if i go ahead and create a new field um, and make it let's say created time save you can see i can see the eta it was created uh, now with select fields uh, as you can see here you can add multiple selections so uh, selection two selection three and then click save so once you do that you will have a drop down that you can select from and change things uh, you can also disable multiple selections so the user is forced to select one and you can specify a default one so let me just go ahead and type selection default uh, of course you can change the name and change colors for every individual section so i'll just give them different colors so that they're easy to differentiate against and under default i'm going to select selection default click save and you're good to go. So now you can create different selections from here. So this is great for updating task statuses or uh, adding ratings to things that may help you sort things. So you can uh, change the quantity. You can have a different emoji if you like. So I can rate it 500s or 300s or 400s. 
and things like that and of course as the tag becomes active so does the selection and then you can uh, specify dates specify different people in the list and uh, well the list goes on now when we switch to the board view uh, you will see that every selection that we created is now separate you can uh, of course uh, organize them how you want and this works in a very similar manner to trello now uh, fields that you created in the table will be hidden here so you can uh, enable them so let's say rating so uh, the same way we created them in the table they will start appearing in the board as we created them so once again you can go ahead and you can add items which will be individual lists or uh, individual list items inside it so let's say board item number one uh, you can add a comment you can specify people select dates uh, give it the ratings that we need so in the board view every list item that we have becomes an individual board so that helps get uh, that helps you get into the nitty gritty of things and track things very uh, in a sort of nuclear manner so uh, as you can see we have in our list two items on uh, the default selection and hence when we switch to the board these two items show up right here uh, if i go back to my table and i create a new item which is let's say board item number two uh, assign it to myself and set the selection to selection three uh, let's just go ahead and delete this one just to keep things tidy now when i switch to the board as you can see uh, section three uh, selection three is now also populated so this is the way you can use lists in slack to sort of really get control over what you want to do uh, of course if you want to um, edit views you have different filters so you can select it by people um, you can select it by uh, dates so if i go to filter and let's say i want to select by rating i want three stars you can only see that so works uh, in a very similar manner to notion and trello list sort of a combination of the both and then if you just want to see all items you can see all of them listed here in different formats of course you can uh, attach comments to these so if i go ahead and click uh, comment this works like a thread so this is our test thread you do that and then it's just there as a comment for that particular task once again uh, there are bunch of options to add uh, different items you can use this button you can use this button you can go ahead and uh, seamlessly set up and connect forms in here or you can just get a shareable link uh, for the list you can either copy the link or you can just mention the name or the channel where you can share this list with uh, now if you go back all right so now uh and this is the basis on which all of these slack templates are working you can have different uh, items uh, different lists in a same uh, sort of different lists and uh, navigated under the same list you can have uh, feedback from people help requests in the form of boards because you need more precise tracking and more text in here uh, you can have backlogs uh, and then there's a deal tracker in here which i don't see how you would use it and then of course there's your uh, standard to do list in here as well so that's how you do lists in slack if you like these videos consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what are your thoughts on this video and i'll be right there talking to you if you'd like to know more about tech visit our website candidate technology follow us on social media follow me on instagram or twitter and we'll see you in the next video